Sometimes, you may receive an Excel sheet that is protected with a password, and you may need to unlock it so that you can edit the data on the worksheet. If you have no idea what the password is, or you have forgotten it, there are ways to unprotect Excel sheet without password. In this video, we are going to see how to unprotect Excel sheet without password using Zip. Let's close this. This is my file. I will create a copy of this. And I really recommend doing this because it is very easy to corrupt your file. If you don't see the file extension, click the down arrow in the toolbar. This will expand the ribbon. Next, click on the View tab and check the File Name Extensions checkbox. The change takes effect immediately. This method works for Excel files in XLSX format. Now, change the file name extension from XLSX to ZIP. Click on Yes. Next step is to open the ZIP archive in the ZIP program that you have installed. In my case, I have WinRAR. If you don't have a ZIP program, you can install 7-ZIP, it's freeware. Double-click the compressed folder to open it. Open the folder named Excel, then the folder worksheets. You will see three XML files. Each XML file corresponds to a spreadsheet. The protected sheet in this example is Sheet 1. Double-click on Sheet1.xml to open it. We are looking for a tag that starts with Sheet Protection. Ctrl plus F keyboard shortcut opens the Find window. Type Protection, and you quickly get the result. The Sheet Protection tag contains the encoded password of the Excel sheet. By removing this tag, we will remove the password. You can't make any changes directly. What you need to do is drag this file in the desktop. Basically, you create a copy of it. Then right-click on this file. Click Open with then choose Notepad. Use Ctrl plus F to find the tag that starts with Sheet Protection. Delete this tag. Save and close the file. Now we will have to put it back in the zip archive. Drag to the zip archive, in the same location as the original location. Here I deleted sheet 1 before putting the new file. But you can skip this step and when Windows Explorer warns you that the file already exists, validate to replace it. To finish, back to XLSX extension. Open the Excel file to see the result. Let's try making changes to this file. Great, it became possible. The protected password has been deleted.